February, everyone. Welcome to my February vlog. January felt like a long month, but we're here in a new month. We are heading to Berkeley today because I'm going to meet up with someone who might help me edit a few videos or a video. It's through this collaboration that I'm doing with Idea Factory, and they're just trying to get more information about how to match YouTubers and editors together and the best way to get that done. So we figured we would take advantage and go to Berkeley. We're gonna eat at, or we're gonna try to eat at Butcher Sun, which is a vegan, all vegan restaurant. Um, and then go to Fang Cha for Boba and hopefully try Emilia's Pizza at night. Um, it's supposedly really complicated to get food there, so we're hoping, well, hopefully it all work out. Yeah, we're headed out to Berkeley now. stay here in Berkeley but Hui's, Hui's breakfast sandwich was good it was called that's my addiction or something only available for brunch on weekends but you could barely taste that it was vegan mine on the other hand the, the turkey the chicken pesto if you don't like seitan I would say not don't get it and the cashew mozzarella was almost like a mashed potato consistency that wasn't a huge fan it was a little monotonous after a while but I would get Hui's next time especially because the Kaiser roll was really fresh and good too We went to Daiso and got one of these, how do you say this, Sumiko Grashi things where you don't know which one you're gonna get. We're hoping for the Ebi or the Katsu one, but I feel like it's probably a low chance that we're gonna get what we want, so let's open it. <laughs> oh, you got it. I think it's the Tonkatsu. Yes. I think so, he's brown. <gasps> is a little different than the other one. <laughs> I can't believe we got the Abby. I'm shocked we got the Abby. But it's not as cute as we were hoping. But still. Got our pizza to go. They don't have any seats, or they do have one table, but it wasn't available, so we're gonna eat in the car. Let's check out this pizza. I got the OG, which has sausage and onion. Tangy tomato sauce. Surprisingly crispy on the bottom. Sunday, but we're watching Harry Potter and the Cursed Child finally, parts one and two today. So we're not gonna be able to catch a Super Bowl and hopefully it won't be too crazy when we're exiting because we are in SF. But yep, we are headed there now to go park and then get in our seats. So far we are somewhat fans, the production value, really good. Don't wanna spoil anything, but it's definitely good. It's just a little bit um, slow at times. So the storyline's, you know, not the greatest, but if you're a Harry Potter fan, you'll enjoy it. Happy Saturday, everyone. I just got done getting ready. I'm going for a girls night out with some of my church friends. And so I actually put on full face makeup. I think I haven't done this since my holiday party back in December, but I'm also trying the Soft Glam palette. 
and a new highlighter that Hannah, my sister, got me from Glossier. So let me know what you guys think about this look. But yeah, we're basically just going out to dinner and then maybe dancing. I have no idea what's really planned because I don't really know the area that, that well in terms of going out at night. Um, so yeah, I'm just sort of trusting everyone. And um, my sister Hannah and I, if you don't know, she's a graphic designer and she helps me with all of my graphics for my channel. And if you have noticed, if you click on my subscribe button or if you see my end screen or if you see my banner, I have all new graphics thanks to Hannah. So today we just sort of hashed it all out. Um, she basically just asked me what I was looking for and she helped um, guide she, and then I helped give her some ideas and then she just created it which was so awesome and it's really great and thank you Hannah and I hope this will really help me to create more of a theme for my videos and then try to do some more stuff with the captions and the titles that all make it very cohesive. So I'm going to go to dinner now. cooking some ramen tonight and then we might play some games later because tomorrow night is when we have our actual Valentine's Day dinner in SF. Didn't want to drive in traffic and at, on a Friday night so let's go see what's cooking. Happy Valentine's Day! <clears throat> so Queen and I have been meaning to play Seven Wonders Duel. If you guys haven't played Seven Wonders, it's a pretty fun game that we really enjoy. But they have a two-player version, which is nice because there's only two of us. So we're here at Game Castle to try it out because we don't want to buy it. And it's cool that you can just play games here for free. It's Saturday, we're gonna get Hui's car wash really fast, and then we're gonna head over to Burlingame because I really wanna try this place called Majesty, which Boba Guys gave a shout out, so it's probably good. Um, plus, we're gonna head up, uh, it's on our way to SF anyway, so we figured it's on the way. We're gonna check out downtown Burlingame because I hear it's really nice, and then tonight is our Valentine's Day dinner at Rich Table, which I believe is one Michelin star, it might be two, but I think it's one. Um, we've been meaning to check it out, so I'm excited to have a nice dinner. Also, do you guys like my makeup? I tried to do like a gold, very simple look today. Rotisserie, I haven't been in years, but it was good. The chicken is flavorful and moist, and their lunch special is pretty reasonable. It's $12.95 for a quarter chicken and two sides. And definitely would get the yuca fries because they're super crispy and like well seasoned. Yeah, we're just gonna walk around a little bit. It's pretty cute down here. And then by Majesty. I ever want your kids to start using a Dyson? Start the line. New tumbler. This one's for Hui though. It's pretty nice. It has a plug and it came with its own straw.
It's a friend. I have not eaten anything like this. It's okay. really good. Came in the mail today. Christmas came early. Valentine's Day came late. Wingspan! If you guys haven't heard about the game Wingspan, it's been taking over the board game universe, whatever it's called, forums. But yeah, we ordered it online from Stonemeyer Games because it sold out everywhere else. And it finally came! So you know what we're doing for the rest of the day. Look at this egg, it's so cute. Hey guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit about a new product that VT Cosmetics sent me and usually I don't accept random random skincare from brands but what caught my eye on this one is because it has a lot of Sika in it so it's a whole Sika care line. If you don't know what Sika is, it's something that I guess tigers used to rub on their wounds but it's sort of like a balm that really helps with redness, inflammation, and calming down your skin. And the reason why I stumbled upon this was because Silco Glam suggested that I try the Soon Jung Cream and I use it for my eczema that I get on my eyelid. And I also have dermatographia, which is a story for another time. But basically, if you ever scratch or if someone scratches me, it becomes like a raised hive where the scratch was. And so I often get a lot of, and you can even tell, like red spots on my body, um, itchiness, bumps, hives, things that just are irritated skin. And I really felt like my Sika Balm helps because I just put it on there and within like 30 minutes or so it really calms the swelling down and the redness. And so it's been a lifesaver for the past half of a year almost. So this is the one I'm talking about, but today I'm going to talk about the VT Cosmetics Sika line. So I'm just going to show you a few of the products that I really liked. Okay, so the first product that I liked was the Sika Capsule Mask. And it's made with green tea, which you know is calming and it has a lot of moisture properties. I think another good thing about this Sika line is it's Sika Hyalon, which I think stands for hyaluronic acid. And you know that's really hydrating. And so you already know I have dry skin, dehydrated skin. Um, that's why a lot of masks are problematic because they strip a lot of oils and they just make you feel tight and dry afterwards. But this one doesn't do that because it has a Sika in it. It calms with the green tea and it's more of a... It's more of a, it's a clay mask, but it doesn't really feel tight after you put it on. So let's try it out. You guys can see the green tea. And I just like to put this over the areas where I have big pores too. It feels really soothing. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with my regular skincare. I'm going to do toner and then some essence, and then I'll talk about a few other products. <laughs> So the next product I want to talk about is this Sika Sleepy Mask. And I like sleeping masks because it's a lot of moisture, a lot of hydration that you can wear while you're sleeping because you're basically sleeping for 8 plus hours and you don't have any moisture on other than what you put on during your nighttime routine. And I also like sleeping masks because when I travel, sometimes the hotel room is dry or if you go into someone else's place and they blast the heater, you want to make sure your skin is hydrated because that's, or even on the airplane, that's when they get, it gets dry and then it's when you can get breakouts and for me a lot of redness. Again, this is a really good sleeping mask because it's moisturizing, it has the Sika, I haven't had any issues since using it. So I'm going to put some on. So now I have the sleeping mask on. You can see it just really hydrates, it feels, it has a slight cooling sensation and it helps calm down a lot of my redness and keeps me moisturized throughout the night. Now the last thing I want to talk about is this Sika Essence Sun is SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 and it's part of their Sika line as well so again calming that's really what I need especially when I have a lot of dermatographia or if I accidentally scratch my face or it just gets irritated um, this helps it doesn't have any white cast which is great um, it kind of reminds me of the, the Milk Essence um, from Misha I think that I used to use during the summertime. So it's a lighter weight sunscreen but it's great for the summertime and if you want some Sika in your sunscreen. And that's it. Those are a few of VT Cosmetics 
products that I really have been enjoying. I'll leave links to them below. Cheese first. Cheese first. And then the... Whatever toppings you want. Actually, I'm too lazy. I'll let you use from the <laughs>